but very rarely you may be asked to um, reflect either a point or a line um, in you might be asked to reflect a point in a line or you might be asked to reflect a point in a plane or a line in a plane um, so i'll look at some examples of doing this now the first question is asking us to reflect a point in a line so visually what this means is here we've got a straight line we've got a point one side of the line here which is our point a and if we were to reflect it in the line it would go over here to a point the image of a so i'll put a there this point A will be um, equidistant from the line to A dashed, um, and it will this, the line between A and A dash will cross the line at a right angle, with perpendicular to the line. Okay, so this is what we're going to use to find the reflection of the point A um, in this line. First thing to do is to find the foot of the perpendicular. We call it F E, call it X, or whatever you want. Okay, like we've done before in shortest distance between points and lines problems. Okay, so we'll say the point F lies on the line. So we smush this um, vector together to get our generic point on the line. So we've got 0 plus 1 T, so that's just T, 7 plus 3 T, and 9 plus T. We can get the vector um, A to F by doing O F minus O A. This is T7 plus 3T, 9 plus T minus 4, 8, which is 6, 2 minus 4. And that gives us T minus 6, 5 plus 3T, and uh, 13 plus T. This is the vector A to F. Once we've got AF, we need to work out T. We know AF is perpendicular to the line, so if we do the dot product of AF with the direction vector of the line, we should get zero. So T minus six, five plus three T, 13 plus T, dotted with the direction vector, which is one, three, one, that's equal to zero, and we can get an equation in T that we can solve. So T minus six times one, plus five plus three T times three, plus 13 plus t times 1 equals 0. Collect up your t's, so you get 11t. Collect up your numbers, so you get 9 plus 22 equals 0, which gives you that t equals minus 2. We can get the um, vector af and the position vector of as well from these by subbing t back in. So uh, of is minus two one seven if we put t minus two into here and af we'll need both of these uh, we get from something minus two into there so i get minus eight uh, minus one and eleven so let's subbing it back into here Then to get our position vector O to A, so the position of A, O is somewhere along here, it's anywhere, so I'll put O over here. To get from O to A, I want to go along vectors that I already know. So I can go to the point F, which we've just worked out, and then I can go along F to A dash. F to A dash is the same as A to F. It's in the same direction and it's the same magnitude, so I can just use that vector from before. Alternatively, what you could do is you could go to A and then go two lots of AF along as well. So O to A dash equals OF plus AF. OF we just worked out is minus 217. AF is minus 8, minus 111. Adding those up, you see minus 10. 0, 18 for the position vector of A dash. What's a really important thing for you to learn how to do, I think more important than the previous example, is how to reflect a point in a plane. I think if you're going to get asked about this, this is what it will be. And you can use this to find a reflection of a line in a plane as well. Um, visually, what's happening here, if we can show this, so here's a plane in green. We've got our point up here, which is a point A, and it will get reflected in the plane down to A dash. This line meets the plane somewhere. 
halfway along that line from A to A dash and it meets it at a right angle again so we can use this. So first thing we're going to do in this one is to find the equation of the line through your point and the foot of the perpendicular, which again we're going to call F. The equation of the line, we need a point that it goes through, which is point A, 6, 2, minus 4, and a direction vector of the line. Now, because the line is perpendicular to the plane, the direction vector of this line, I can just use the normal vector of this plane. Because the normal vector is in the same direction as the line, it might be pointing in different directions, but that's fine. So we can just quote that it's this 2 minus 3, 5. That's the equation of the line through A um, and that's perpendicular to the plane. Then we're going to find where this line intersects the plane. I'm not actually going to find the coordinates of F. All I'm going to do is find the value of lambda for this one. OK, so to find where this intersects, I set this equal to the equation of the plane. I substitute this R in bit to bit. I smush this together. 6 plus 2 lambda, 2 minus 3 lambda, minus 4 plus 5 lambda. Substitute this into the equation of the plane. So I'm dotting this with 2 minus 3, 5 and that's equal to 24. This will give me an equation in lambda that I can solve. So 6 plus 2 lambda times 2, 2 minus 3 lambda times minus 3, and 4 plus 5 lambda times 5 minus 4 plus 5 times 2 equals 25 lambda, equals 24. Collect up my lambdas, so I get 38 lambda. Collect up my numbers, so that's 6 minus 14. Take that across, it gives me 38. And so I get lambda equals one from this. I'm not actually going to work out the coordinates of F, although you can. What I'm going to do is use the fact that to get from A to F, I've gone along lambda equals one along my equation of straight line. So to work out the coordinates of F, I just sub lambda into my equation of straight line. To get to A dash, I'm going the same distance again. Another lambda equals one. So overall, I'm going to sub in lambda equals two to get the coordinates of A dash, which saves me having to work out F. I'm not going to do this. So if I sub lambda equals two into my equation of a straight line, I get R equals 60 minus four plus two times two minus three, five which will give me 10 uh, minus 4. Got the position vector of A dash. We're reflecting a line in a plane that's parallel to the plane. Here's what's happening. So here's my plane in red. And I've got a parallel line which never crosses this plane. I'm going to reflect it in this plane and I'll get a line that's in the same direction, but it's underneath the plane instead of above the plane. First thing we've got to show is that L and pi are parallel. So L is the line, pi is the plane. Um, first thing I'm going to do is write L in um, vector form. So I set each of these equal to lambda. I rearrange to make x a subject, so I get 10 minus 4 lambda. Do it for y, get y equals minus 1 plus lambda. Do it for z, I get z equals minus 1 plus 2 lambda. So my equation of my line is 10 minus 1 plus 1 plus minus 4 1 2. Lambda. To show that the line is parallel to the plane, I need to show that the direction vector is perpendicular to the normal. Remember the normal is up here. So if I do the dot product of these, I should get zero. And if I do, then that will show it. So if I do this dot product, I get minus four, minus two, plus six, which equals zero. Therefore, L and pi. So I've got my line and my reflected line here, so L and L dash. 
So to find the reflection of the line, I can use the same direction vector. That's fine. I just now need to reflect one point in this plane um, to work out a point on the reflected line. I'm going to use the point from the equation on the plane. So I'm going to use 10 minus 1 minus 1. Doing the same thing here. You get a reflected point, call it A, on L dash. So this is A dash. Using the same method as we did before, I find the equation of the plane through A that's perpendicular to the plane. So the equation of that is R equals is the point that it goes through, 10 minus 1, one, minus one plus mu times the normal vector of the plane. Notice I'm using a different vector to lambda. And the normal vector of the plane is my direction vector. I'm going to find the corresponding value of mu for where um, the foot to the perpendicular meets the plane. So I get that by finding the point of intersection of my line with my plane. So smush your bits together and sub it into your equation of your plane. That's equal to minus five. Work this out and we can find mu. So I get 10 plus mu, two plus four mu, minus three plus nine mu, minus five. Uh, so collect up my mu's, I get 14 mu. Take my numbers across to the other side. I'll take minus 14. So I get mu equals minus one. I don't need to work out f. I'm just going to double mu now and substitute that back into my equation on my straight line. So subbing mu is minus two. So I get 10 minus one minus two. So minus two times one minus two is three, which gives me that the coordinates of the image of AA dash is 8, 3, minus 3. I've now got enough to come up with the equation of L dash. So I've got a point that it goes to, which is 8, 3, minus 7. That's the reflected point, plus some constant um, parameter, I'll call it S, times the same direction vector that we used for the straight line before, uh, which is um, for the original straight line, sorry, uh, which is minus 4, 1, 2. Because these are parallel lines. Final thing we need to do is reflecting a line in a plane that's not parallel to the plane. Here's my plane. And what's happening here is we've got a straight line that meets the plane somewhere here. And we're doing the reflection of this straight line, which will look something like this in the plane. Okay. The method we're going to use is we're going to find two points on our um, reflected line and then get the equation line through those two points. The first thing to do is to find the point of intersection of the line and the plane. So for our line, we've got R equals 1, 0, 1 from I plus K plus T times 1, 2, 0 from I plus 2J. And we've got the equation of our plane, which we're going to do in normal form. I call it C, uh, which is um, R dot 1, 1 minus 1, 6. Point of intersection I'm going to get from smushing this together and substituting it into my equation of our plane. So 1 plus T, 2T, 1. Up into 1, 1 minus 1 equals 6. Do the dot product of that. Gives me 3t equals 6, and I get t equals 2. So the coordinates of the point of intersection, which I've called f, I can get from subbing t equals 2 into my equation of my straight line, um, which will give me uh, 3, 4, 1. I then need to find the reflection of another point on my line. It makes sense to use the one from the equation, so I'll use 1, 0, 1, and do the same method as we've done in all of these. So I'm going to find the equation of the straight line through 1, 0, 1 that's perpendicular to the plane. It's 1, 0, 1 plus mu times the normal vector of the plane, which is 1, 1. Then I'm going to find the corresponding mu value for where that crosses the plane. So I'll find the point of intersection of this with the plane. Smash this together. 
substitute it into the equation of the plane. And to do this, dot product. I get one plus mu, plus mu, minus one plus mu, six. Uh, that gives me three mu equals six, and I get mu equals two. I'm going to double this mu value, mu equals four, and then sub that back into the equation of the straight line to get. Right up with that right point. So I'm going to sub this back into the equation of the straight line um, through A that's perpendicular to the plane to get the coordinates of A dash. So that's um, 1 plus 4 times 1, so that gives me 5, or minus 3. This is A dash. Now that I've got two points that it goes through, so I've got the foot, I've got the point of intersection, which we found to be 3, 4, 1. And I've got the point A dash, which is 5, 4, minus 3. I finally need to find the equation of the line through both of those, which will give me the equation of this green line. So the direction vector between those two, so just take those away from each other. 3, 4, minus 5, 4, minus 3. Doesn't matter which way around you subtract them. If you minus 2, 0, so 4. That's the direction vector. I can choose either of these points that it goes through to get my new equation of the line. So I'll use 3, 4, 1 plus s times minus 2, 0, 